Today's winner at the TireRack.com Champ Car Endurance Series, Harris Hill 8 Hours, Basil Weenie. Joe, Bill. I know you didn't want to talk. Here, let's get this way. Okay. I can't see you. Sun's in my eyes. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, that works for me. That was pretty tough out there today, especially in the middle of the day when uh, the rain came. It really slowed you guys down a lot. It did. Uh, car was, was plowing real, real bad. Um, so we lost a bunch during the rain, but we gained it back once it started to dry and kind of hung in there. We just hope we didn't get more of it later in the day. We got a little bit more, but it, it wasn't that bad. So. so the car looked really quick out there. Who was in the car with, uh, with a stint where you guys lost first? Uh, who would have been? First stint? No, probably about third stint. I was third stint. So, right? tri oh yeah, Trice was in the car. Yeah. yeah. So See, they had the um, 130 car had their good yeah. rain driver, Danny Sufi, who's just great in the rain. And, you know, there wasn't much you could do with him. Did nope. you try racing him or did you just say, well, you know, I got to do what I got to do? Uh, main thing was don't screw the car up. Number one thing, right? Try to limit the damage because I knew he was going to be fast and I wouldn't be able to keep stay with him. And I tried to follow him one time and about the first corner I did a almost a 360 and I was like, that's it. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'll just let him go do his thing and I'll do my thing and it worked stay out. Stay on the track. Yeah. So w what was the big difference? Because he was just way ahead of everybody out there. He lives here. Yeah. He, when it rains, he comes out here and drives. Yeah, yeah, I don't do that. He's been so. here since he's eight years old. Yeah. He, yeah. he knows this track yeah, quite Yeah, we found well. pictures of him when he was eight yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Plus, so. this was our power steering rack bushing, what's left of it on the right side. So we are none in there. Our we power, a little wiggle. Our power steering oh. rack was moving back and forth about an inch or two. So we were fighting that the whole time, too. So who's in the car last? Keith. 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 Keith, where are you? I don't know Keith, where Keith is. Oh, man. So what, what was, did, was that, did you have that problem with the rack? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was oh, from the very beginning. We noticed but that this morning <laughs> before we started. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we stuffed it back in there. It was kind of hanging out. Yeah. We stuffed it back in there, and we just, we went out and drove it. And what, I, I was the first guy out, and I could feel it. I'd, I'd come out of one corner of the steering wheels like this, come out another corner of the steering wheels like that. So it was moving back and forth the wow. whole time. So what are you guys uh, going to do different tomorrow? Because uh, you're going to be, what, five, six laps down? Do Four, I think. Thing. We're, we're going to fix this yeah. Yeah. Yeah, first. Fix well. <laughs> Hopefully not driving the rain. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, congrats, guys. That was a heck of a race out there for you guys. Yeah, it was fun. Good right. race. Thank, Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Split five here. Second place overall, Harris Hill. Eight hour. I kept calling you splits because I, uh, you know, I wear the wrong glasses. But we found out at the end of the day it was split five. So uh, the 240 SX looked really good out there, Thank except you. when it rained, it was like a drift mobile. Um, the diff is almost open, so it's pretty controllable. Yeah, we had a little offs, but it wasn't too bad. And of course, it's pretty dry still, so you can power through. Going off is no big deal. <laughs> now, you guys, did you guys know that when you, because uh, you, you started pretty far down, but you were every stint, you just kept getting further and further up. Um, We all are very consistent drivers. So if you keep being a consistent driver, if you keep lapping, you you normally have a chance at the end. And we've been doing it for about six or seven years now, and we just know you just got to keep lapping. And, and so that's what we do. So tell us a little about the car. Um. Cars, you know, uh, it, we've raced 240s for quite some time, so it really has about seven or eight years of development in it. Um, you know, stock stock engine. Um, we have some, you know, some coilover type stuff. I, I couldn't explain it, but that's about it. It's pretty much stock. Um, we'd run some little Miata rims. That's that's our trick right there, running little Miata rims. So if you want to know what to do, put Miata rims on your 240. Yeah, 15 inches. That's what we run. So um, who was who was in the car during the rain? Um, I was in the car this morning in the rain, and uh, my cousin Micah was in the rain this afternoon. So what was that like out there? Um, well, we, we also raced Champ Car at MSR about four years ago, and it was a torrential downpour, and we all had a race in the rain. So we're all pretty good okay. so rain a drivers. Lot a lot of practice in the rain, thankfully. Yeah. Cool. So where are you guys all out of? Um, I live in Austin now. We're mainly a Houston team, though. That's why we have the 713 on the side of the car, the Houston area code. Cool. Yes, sir. Thank all you. Right, guys, congratulations. And what are you going to do different tomorrow to try and catch Basil? Um, 
uh, other than a V8 swap overnight, I don't I don't think we're going to catch Basil anytime soon. Right. We've been chasing those guys for about four years now. Well, so. Start with five or six laps down, so that might help. That maybe, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Thank All right, you. guys, congratulations. Thank you. Pure Black Racing, third place overall here at uh, Harris Hill Saturday race. Big old intercooler sticking out the front. Now you guys had an incident at the beginning of the race. That intercooler got hit by somebody. Well, the intercooler didn't, but uh, the front fender did. Yeah, we had a little uh, uh, problem there in a the corner, but it wasn't bad. You know, it didn't do any damage, so we got back out there in plenty of time. So uh, how was that out in the rain? Is this front wheel drive? This one is front wheel drive, yeah. And actually our, our rainmeister here, uh, Paul, uh, it did awesome. It did awesome. Yeah, lots, of, lots of rain driving. I did the first and the third, so four hours of driving today. Yeah. Did you like driving in the rain? I loved it. That's where I passed everybody. Ah, helped okay. us get up to third. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of car is it? This is an Audi A4, 2000 model. Is it like, it's not always, it's only front wheel drive. Yeah, it's only front wheel drive. And uh, uh, I know everybody says this, but this baby is stock, dude. I mean, motor, brakes, you name it. So we've been working really hard. We've been racing in the series for seven years. This is the first time ever we've been on the podium. Oh, wow. We're just, we're thrilled. Yeah, this was great. Cool. So where are you guys out of? Uh, I live here in Austin. Um, we've got one guy from Houston and another one from Dallas. Cool. Yeah. So all Texans in. All Texans. So yeah. how do Texans learn how to drive in the rain? Because it doesn't rain much out here, right? Well, well except was, Houston, I guess. Yeah, Houston, <laughs> it rains It rains a lot there. For whatever reason, it seems to rain a lot here at Harris yeah. Hill. And uh, we race here a lot. So, yeah, it, it worked out well for us. So what are you guys going to do different tomorrow to go after Basil Weenie and uh, oh, the 240? We've raced Basil Weenie so many times. We have nothing for those guys. I mean, they know it. They beat us, you know, two laps an hour or something like that. So we're not really racing with those guys. I mean, we're on the same track at the same time. But uh, we're going to race hard tomorrow. You know, some new tires, some new brake pads, put gas in it, and uh, we'll be ready to go. There you go. Congratulations, All right. guys. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good job. Nice interview. Ghetto Chump, fourth overall with their Miata. It seems like this is a Miata track. You guys did quite well today, fourth place overall against this uh, lot of BMW, well, a few BMWs and uh, other makes and models out there. Yes, sir, we did. We had a great day. A couple situations cost us uh, about three or four minutes, but uh, fourth place finish, we're very happy with. So what kind of situations were those? Well, the hood came up at the end <laughs> yeah. and flew up, so we had to bring it up and tie her down with a tie strap. Yeah. And that kind of put us a lap down, but we went out and fighting till the end and had more fun than, than we, we could ball. go, you know, and that's what it's about. So have you guys finished up here on the podium before? Uh, last year on yeah. this uh, yeah, on yeah. Sunday, uh, yeah. Yeah. which is third overall, third overall, third overall yeah. and first in class. Yeah, maybe tomorrow we'll yeah. back there at third overall. So Cars running great. So where are you guys from? Um, Austin. Yeah, Austin. Austin, Austin? Yeah. 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 yeah, this is our home track. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So you guys have a lot of time around here then. Uh, we do. Yes, we yeah, do. We do. Who yes, was in the car during the rain? I was. Yeah. So yeah. what was that like out there? It was crazy in the rain. It was a lot of fun. I do know the rain line here, so that was that helped out for sure. I was able to kind of run that outside line and pass a lot of people. So we kind of got back in the game, I think, at that point too. So it was it was fun. So what are you guys going to do a little different to uh, try and catch Basil Weenie and the, uh, the other cars out there? You know, I don't know. I mean, we're... Superchargers, turbos overnight? Probably, yeah, yeah. some nitrous or something. You know, we'll figure something we're out. But consistent, and we wait for them to break. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I mean, we had 45 start and 28 on the yeah. track when it was yeah. over. So yeah. it's it was a pretty tough. Yeah, it's a, it was a tough, tough it's, day. It's now, a, the, the track is really rough out there. We had some cameras in the cars, and we could see them kind of jumping around. And I even noticed it when I took my uh, rental car out there to see the line how hard is that out there to drive this car with it jumping all over? Uh, yeah, we're used to it, and actually, it's it. Every time a bump comes up, it's more character, you know. Yeah. And we look like you know everybody else has got the same track, and yep. it adds to the challenge of yep. it. That's right. So, and I love that. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Yep. So yep. cool, guys. Congratulations. Hey, thank you guys for coming down here yeah. and putting us on twice a it, year, you. man. Yep. You guys are the awesome, best man. for sure. Cool. All right, thanks, all right, guys. Touchstone Racing, fifth overall with a Miata. Miata, yes. They seem to be the car of choice here at Harris Hill. Yeah, it's a fun little car. So uh, tell us a little about the car. Uh, so it's running a 1.6. Uh, the engine we actually swapped one year ago at Harris Hills. We did it in the uh, paddock. So it's a 1.6. It's a 1.6. We picked it up at a junkyard. Wow. So uh, where are you guys all out of? Uh, Dallas-based mostly. Cool. So uh, 
Who was the rain driver today? The rain driver. Early morning? That was me, yes. Yeah, who was the later one with the big uh, one? Yeah. 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 All yeah. right, so what was that like out there? Uh, it was it was interesting. The, a lot of the other drivers were driving pretty slow, so as so long as they gave me a, a path to get around them, I made good ground and passed quite a few people. So it was fun driving. So with a Ford racing cap, how do you manage to handle this little car going around? <laughs> oh, dang it. Uh, normally I drive a Fiesta ST, so oh, okay. it's, it's a small little car too. Yeah. But, Except front wheel drive though. But front wheel drive, yeah. So yeah. I, I had to learn a little bit in the wet in this thing. That's my first time in my wet with this car. Oh, so that's a big learning experience, especially with the bumps and get you basically keeping it straight, as straight as you can, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just car control and just smooth inputs and... Send it. And send it, yeah. <laughs> it seems to be the word of the day this weekend. So how was it out there for you this weekend? It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah the car set the car set up super neutral. The tires are fantastic all weekend. Um, yeah, worked really well. A lot of fun. What are you guys going to do different tomorrow? Anything? Nothing. <laughs> We're going to keep it consistent. Absolutely. Keep it consistent. Don't do anything. Right, exactly. All right, guys, congratulations, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Awesome, thank you. Right, thank you. Screaming chickens, right? Yeah. Screaming chickens, the 502, formerly a 350. Does it really have a 350 in it? It does have a 350. TPI. The that's, best that's like the, AIDS engineering ever. There we go. So how do you guys get uh how'd you guys do in the rain out there? Uh slip sl slip who's, sliding who's everywhere. Me. So how was that in the rain? Not fun. <laughs> Mostly trying to avoid everybody else, and then me not hit them too. So I, you, we talked yesterday, and you got Corvette rims on this thing with yep. uh, big wide tires, and I thought, oh, that's going to be awesome out there. It probably was up until those first raindrops fell. Pretty much, yeah. pretty much, and we overinflated the tires maybe a little bit right before that. So Ooh. it was real, real tail happy. So uh, where are you guys out of? Uh, most Dallas, Austin, Kansas, Nebraska, New Jersey. So that's all near uh, yeah. Texas. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what are you guys going to do different tomorrow to get all these little four bangers out of the way? Uh, give it some more gas. There you go. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. I don't have my notes. E3 Racing, BMW E36, E46. E36, 325. E29, E36. Uh, yeah. So E36. So how does an E36 handle with a... Uh, it's like a swarm of Miatas at this track. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> tough, especially when this thing is not handling well at all. It's eating up tires. There's no rear traction. It's bouncing around like crazy. Um, so you just have to be patient. Yeah, you know, really patient with throttle application. You know, a little bit more power, and be patient in the corners. That's about it. So how was it in the rain? Uh, I wasn't Who out was there in, in the it? rain. He was so in how the what? John got the, got the rain. A lot of slipping and sliding, but we got through it. So. Yeah, no, spins, <laughs> no, no spins. No spins. Yeah, no, no offs. No spins. Uh, yeah, minor off, but well, nothing we don't talk about. Handle. We don't talk yeah. about those he at all. Count. <laughs> no, uh, halfway the windshield fogged completely, so not being able to see was an element. But yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. the worst point. Yeah. That was the worst point of it. But yeah, once we got past the rain, it started to dry up. It was about time for the driver change. So worked out pretty well. Of course, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. Of course, I get the rain. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little about the car. Uh, well, the car's a 93 E36, 325 IS. Uh, interesting story is this was his original daily driver we bought when he was 15 years old. Uh, it was totaled. We rebuilt it together. He drove it for a daily driver for nine years, and then we sold it to Eric. He says, hey, I'd like to build a race car. Um, and I race in HSR and BMW CCA. So it's like, ah, well, I've got a little experience with these 36s. Let's, uh, let's build you a car and I'll make you a deal. We'll help you build it. Cool. Let us drive. I'm going to ask a question that I ask my son. What was the highest you ever had this car up to in high school? Oh, uh, <laughs> what, what, what did I tell you that one time? Was it 80? Uh, there think, you go. I think 55 was your official answer. Oh, you're right, right, 55. Yeah. Yeah, I asked my son right before right before the VIR, his first race ever, I said, how fast have you gone? And he goes, 110. And I thought about it. Wait a second, because I have a, I keep a tracker on him, so I know exactly how fast he goes everywhere. It never showed 110. So he figured out a way to shut it off. So good times. All right, guys. Well, congratulations getting up here on the podium, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Absolutely. See you all.